Do you want your blog post or website to rank consistently as number one spot on Google search? Hi, in this video, we're exploring an affordable keyword research tool called Keywords Everywhere. It's a super powerful tool for your SEO strategy to improve your keyword research. If you're looking to rank number one on Google, this is the right place. Search engine optimization is a vital tool in your arsenal and keyword research is a super important part of it. Whether you're growing an online business, blogging or creating content in general, the most important thing that you can do is finding the right keywords to include in your content. And this is exactly where Keywords Everywhere comes in. In this video, you will learn how to use Keywords Everywhere to the fullest of its potential, no matter what the content is that you are creating. Plus, I will show you exactly my secret workflow that I've been crafting over the past four years in order to rank highly consistently. I will show you how I use ChatGPT in the process and a special spreadsheet that I put together that enables me to analyze the best keywords based on competition, based on on search volume and based on cost per click. I haven't uncovered these secrets before, but I'm gonna share them with you today. Let's get right to it. Quick disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. They're not sponsoring me to make this video. I just simply like the tool because it's affordable, it works with a lot of integrations, and it is a super powerful tool if you know how to use it correctly. The real question is, how do you use keywords everywhere effectively? I'm gonna show that to you right now with an example. Let's go back to google.com. All right, now that the Chrome extension is enabled and it is active, you can see it's on, you can simply do a Google search. For example, we do the Google search for keyword tool. Now, keywords everywhere will give you exactly the information that you want in the top left corner. It will say that the volume of this keyword search for the keyword tool was 8,100 searches per month with a cost per click of $1.48 per click and with a competition score of 0.17. But this is only part of the information. The most important information that we are curious about is in the top right corner here. You can see that it populated our search side of the browser on the right side with very important information. You can see that the SEO difficulty, we can see the brand query, we can see the off-page difficulty, and we can see the on-page difficulty. To explain it really briefly, it the SEO difficulty is how difficult is it to rank on the first page. And you usually want to aim for something less than 50 unless your article is performing super well, you have lots of backlinks to your website, and in general you just have a killer content that lots of people want to read. Brand query relates to if brands are related to the keyword search. In this case it is yes. There's a bunch of brands, for example, keyword tool, WordStream, SEMrush, they all have some sort of claim on this keyword. The off-page difficulty pretty much just means how likely is it that you will rank on the first 10 pages based on the competition score. And as you can see here, uh, keyword tool, WordStream, SEMrush, WordTracker, Ahrefs, they are all really knowledgeable brands that have tons of backlinks. You can see that right here, the reference links, the reference to, of the domain, and the spam score is very low, which means that all of these tools have already been in the space for so long and they have a lot of domain authority. So usually what you wanna aim for here is a score less than 50. This is very hard, but this is exactly why we're using this tool in order to find keywords where the off-page difficulty is probably less than 50. The on-page difficulty is 70. On-page difficulty means just within the page of all of these first page results, how many of them have already optimized their keywords? Which means in this case, how many of them have this in their H1s, H2s, in the blog posts or in the page that they write about? as well as having them in the meta tag and in the meta description. And in this case, 70 is also very high. But I will show you how to find the right keyword to rank for in just a second. Let's first go over the next feature that they have. Keywords Everywhere shows you exactly the trending data for this keyword. And as you can see here in 2009 until 2014, lots of people were searching for this, but then somehow it trickled off. Trending keywords also gives you the trending keywords in this space that are related to it. You can see here that keyword su suggestion tool is another keyword that people search for, only 1,000 per month in comparison to 8,000 per month. However, the competition score is much lower. The same counts for best keywords search tool and keywords tool dominator. Related keywords in the space are Google Keyword Planner, Keyword Research Tool, and you can read them right here. It shows you all of the information you need to know on the right side of the browser. The last feature that Keywords Everywhere is showing you on the right side is what people have also searched for. And this is very similar to related searches as well as if you click on this, 
it takes all the information from the search bar that Google auto populates the search bar without this tool in the first place. But you can see here, you can also export this list, you can copy this list, and you can see exactly what people are searching for. In this case, SEM Rush is a very popular keywords research tool that I've chosen not to use right now, just because it's more expensive and it does give me a little bit more information, but in this, in the end, for $10 a year, Keywords Everywhere is delivering pretty well. Now the question is, what do we do with this information? An important feature of Keywords Everywhere is that you can look for long tail keywords for the US in this case, for the keyword that we are curious about. Let's say we wanna make a blog post about keyword tool. Keywords Everywhere, it will make a search for all of the related keywords related to keyword tool, and it will give me all of the information that I need to know. I'm gonna stop the search right now. It, it has been looking through 257 keywords so far. And as we filter on the top part, we can filter by search volume, competition, trending, CPC. But in this case, we're curious about the highest volume keywords. We can see that keywords tool has been uh, searched for 8,100 times, similarly to just keywords tool, website. And since they have the same trending graph and all of the similar data here, I assume that keywords everywhere is treating them equally. So let's look for a few other ones. The question here is um, keywords research tool. This has a similar competition score, but a lesser volume score. So we really wanna look for something that ranks highly for volume, but really lowly for competition. In this case, what is a keyword is ranking really highly for these aspects. So that is a really good thing. Now I'm gonna write an article about this. So I would probably use something like this, but in order to be more comprehensive and really cover all my angles to figure out what's the best keyword to write about, I'm gonna use ChatGPT with a custom GPT that I've created in order to create killer keywords. Let's go over to ChatGPT. Let's select my keyword generator tool. You can find that in the description below. So I'm gonna say generate high ranking keywords. And I'm also gonna specify what my article is gonna be about. In this case, I wanna write about an affordable keyword research tool. So let's give it that information. So I'm gonna say, I want to write an article about affordable keyword research tool people can use. And I've trained this based on my experience and on certain keywords in order to generate the best keywords possible. As we can see here, my custom GPT created 100 keywords. Now we get to the exciting part of how we utilize keywords everywhere in this process. So we click on here and we click on the bulk keywords data tab. It brings us to keywords everywhere and we can just simply copy and paste those keywords. Let's get those metrics. So as we can see here again, it analyzed all of the keywords that ChatGPT suggested, and it gives me the search volume, the competition CPC for all of these. The most exciting part about this now is you can click on Excel version, CSV or PDF or print. I'm gonna click copy, and I'm gonna utilize a custom tool that I've built in order to analyze this effectively. And in this case, it is a spreadsheet called Keywords Analysis, where I simply have to now click on the cell and paste my keyword and including all of the data from keywords everywhere. It brings them all in this list and I've programmed the spreadsheet in order to give me a detailed summary of all the rankings based on two ranking methods that I've chosen, normalized ranking and rank-based ranking. In this video, I'm not gonna show you exactly what this means. If you want a separate video on how to build a spreadsheet yourself, let me know. Otherwise, you can find it in the comments and you can use it for yourself. I'm gonna click on summary overview and now I can simply click on rank this based on my personal preferences. And in this case, I think that the search volume is very high. So I'm going to click uh, 60%. I think the competition is also very important for choosing the right keywords. And then the cost per click is uh, not as important. So I only gave that 5% weighting. So going back on my summary overview, I ranked it based on the blended score. And you can see here now it gives me the top keywords based on my own criteria. And in my case, this is 60% based on volume, 30% uh, based on competition, and then the other part is going to be at your cost per click. So in this case, I can see that keywords ranking checker is performing really well. And that's because it has 4,000 people that search for it and only a 0.02 competition score. That is very high. Similarly, I see here keyword tool, the original keyword that we gave it is 8,000 search uh, volume and then a 0.17 competition score. But in my opinion, the competition score is a little bit high. So in order to weigh the rankings, I'm gonna change this now. This has also a 50% weighting and this has a 60% weighting. So let's go back to our summary overview and we can see that the rankings have 
have all changed. Now the top rankings are keyword ranker checker, keyword competition analysis, SEO keyword research, SEO keyword analysis, keyword tracker. So I really like this one. The top one has the highest score. It's a 0.6 on my normalized score ranking and a 21 on my rank based ranking. So that is very high. So if I were to write an article, I would probably choose this keyword and I will write an in-depth analysis on keyword ranking checker, compare different keyword ranking checkers or build my own keyword ranking checker because I see that 4,000 people search for this and there's barely any competition on this out there. The other keywords are great too, but I would probably do a separate article about them. Each blog post or web page that you have should have its own one keyword that you're trying to rank for. And that way you can optimize your H1 tag, your H2 tags, your paragraph text, as well as your meta description in order to rank highly. If you want me to make a separate video about how to rank a blog post highly, let me know in the description. I'm happy to show you exactly what workflow I use in order to write really high ranking articles. Last but not least, I already told you that this also helps you to do keyword research on YouTube, Etsy, Amazon, on eBay, and on different platforms. So I'm gonna show you really quickly on how I'm using this for YouTube. And if you want me to make a more in-depth video, let me know about that. So in this case, I'm gonna use the same example. I'm gonna say keyword tool. And as you can see here, it does it similarly on how it did it with Google. It will display all of your results on the right side of the YouTube search page in, within your browser. And it will show you exactly what the rank difficulty is, the query, what the query uh, is, in this case, keyword tool. It shows you the search volume. It's also 8,100 per month. And it shows you the maximum views for the top video within this page. It shows you the average views, the average age of the video. It shows you if the keyword is in the title, in the description, and uh, how many videos were added in the like, last seven days versus six weeks, and total verified scores. If you click on detail breakdown, it gives you an even better breakdown and it can show you exactly what title you should use in your video because I can now simply go through this and copy this into JetGPT to analyze exactly what the titles were for the best performing videos. And I can see what the search uh, trend was over time and the most used tags. So if I were to create a video like the one that I'm creating right now, I will probably use a lot of these most used tags in order to rank highly for them. If you want me to show you exactly how I do my research search for YouTube, Etsy, for Amazon, for Pinterest, for Google, let me know in the comments and I will do that. So to summarize, Keywords Everywhere is a very powerful tool. It is lacking a few limitations that the more popular tools have. However, it is so much cheaper and it's so user-friendly, especially if you have an integrated spreadsheet like the one that I built for myself. Feel free to use it. Its link is in the description. It is super powerful because you can find really usable keywords super fast. If you found this content helpful, subscribe and like the video. If you didn't like it, don't like it and let me know what your thoughts were in the comments. Until next time.